Well, hello everybody. It is Tuesday morning and time for another live video with Leanne. So let me know you're here. Let me get my laptop synced up and we'll get going. Oh, you know what? I need to turn on some more lights. So hold on. I know it helps to have things as bright as possible when we're doing videos. So let's see if I can see comments today. So I can welcome you and hopefully pay attention and <laughs> answer some questions. Oh my, what is happening here? It is struggling to connect. Oh, there we go. Okay, it is here. Oh boy, you're at the mercy of the computers and the internet. Hello everybody, good morning. Thank you so much for joining me. I have a lot to share, so I am gonna go through some things very fast. As you know, we're hap the last chance list is happening and every day we run out of something. So please, please go online, go to shopwithleon.com and go to last chance list or specials and browse the, uh, the, the sale. Now you can, Look, you can change your parameters on the upper part to, <coughs> uh oh, and my throat is dry already, to uh, lowest price, highest price, alphabetical, newest. You can look and search both any way you want. So, so please uh, check that out so you don't miss anything. And like, oh, I really wanted that and I missed it. So please don't wait. Uh, go ahead and look and make sure you don't. You're not going to miss something that you really wanted. If you're going to order, here's my host code. Of course, if your order's over 50, I have a free uh, package of gems I will send you. So that's my special this month, along with a flowering zinnia PDF tutorial. And um, let's see what else. Before I move on, I want to talk about my in-color bundle. So every year at my open house, I offer an in-color bundle where you get the, the ink pads, the uh, ink refills, the designer paper share, and you get a pack of, um, or I think it's four, five, four sheets of each of the in-color uh, uh, cardstock. And here's the designer paper, six by six. I am missing the pink, the pretty and pink. I used it in a swap and I'm waiting for my next package to arrive. It comes with, uh, like I said, the designer paper, the cardstock, the ink refills, and all five ink pads, and I throw in a pack of sparkle gems for free. Now, if you want to add on the blends, now, first of all, that is $83. That's, I'm calling that the basic bundle, and it does not include priority shipping for long distance people. If you want the five blend, uh, double pack of blends markers, you will get both the uh, gems free and a ribbon share free. I'm missing another ribbon. I'm using it today. <laughs> so, yeah, here we go. So you'll you'll get a share of all of the five ribbons. So let me know if you're interested. I can't take. Uh, I have payment quite yet. We're not allowed um, to do that quite yet. But um, yeah, I, if you're interested, get on my list because I only offer it the first week of May and then it's done. So um, so yeah, let me know if you're interested so I can put you down. I also will be running a designer paper share. So you get uh, 72 sheets of six by six for $27.50. Long distance need to add $6 for shipping. And I will take that uh, offers for that within the first three few weeks of the catalog. So, um, all right, I'm gonna do door prizes before I move on because <laughs> there's so much to share. All right, so last week I decided to give away mini dimensionals and a pack of cards and envelopes and enjoy the adventure memories and more cards. I believe that one's a half a pack. So the winners are, drum roll, Tammy Sanis and Catherine DeWolf. So congratulations, gals. I think I have their addresses. I know Tammy, I hope to see her tonight at club. But um, so yeah, congratulations. And thank you so much for commenting and sharing on my video. Okay, oh, down the list. Let's see what else I covered that. 
while you if you're watching me live on Facebook be sure you're following me so you get notified when I'm live and if you're watching later this is recorded and uploaded to YouTube make sure you're following me on YouTube because um, then you'll see all my videos I upload all of them to YouTube and sometimes that's an easier place to watch for some so what I'm giving away this week for share or for commenting is a pack of elegant faceted gems it's kind of opaque, kind of a petal pink and a clear in a sparkle uh, gems. Then I'm going to give away a, pa a set of five, actually four, masculine cards. So this uses the um, tools, trusty tools, and the former designer paper from the mem uh, celebration. So sometimes it's nice to have these fun folds in hand so you can... Uh, get ideas because in hand is so much easier to copy and make the card again if you have them in hand. So so this is for sharing. So please share my video with a friend and let me know that you did that or on a Facebook group or on your personal Facebook page. Uh, yesterday I was playing with, oh let's see, the Hooray for Honeycomb kit. So something kind of nostalgic, these little honeycomb pop-up things that are so fun to play with that we use for decorations and celebrating. So I was excited to try it and I made the cards and I was going to make them here with you, but I don't think I have time because I have two other projects that I want to do and a few other things to share. So here is the Very Proud of You card. So and it has matching envelopes, okay? Here is the congrats, you did it. A lot of this is celebration. So these would be amazing graduation cards. Isn't that so fun? I mean, you could put anything in here, job promotion, graduation, um, you know, something they accomplished, a good grade, a test. And here is the Oh Happy Day. Aren't they awesome? I think they're just fun and so different. Now this kit is in our kit collection online and it has uh, three of each of these cards, so nine cards. And yeah, it comes with um, a lot of products. So all the card bases, the little honeycomb things, the twine, the little punch outs, the greetings and the dimensionals and mini glue dots. So you don't need any stamping. This would be a great kit to give somebody and in time for graduation, right? So, so yeah, this is $18 and the item number is 163882. That's the Hooray for Honeycomb uh, kit in our kit collection. There are so many kits. So this one, and I don't have mine yet, there's another one called By Your Side and it's really printed light, I don't know why, but it's animals, it's cats and dogs. So if you are an animal lover or know somebody, that might be the kit for you. This has a stamp set along with it and an ink spot. It's $22. And of course, there's the Hooray for Honeycomb. Last month, we had these, Your Day to Shine, a card kit. And this one is a Frog and Friends kit, which is kind of an interactive game of catch with these little critters. That one's $12. This is $14. Remember, we get two new ones every month. Here was the birthday sparkle kit and the happy house plants kit. This is framed, four frames. It's awesome. I love it. Love it. Love it. So, and before that, we had panda and friends and rock legends. So, if you like kits, I would encourage you to go online and go to kit collection. Now, the other thing we have online is our online exclusives. And some um, smart demonstrator made this awesome. Uh, printout and shared it so you can see exactly what is available in the online exclusive and it's nice big print and big pictures so there's a ton and these are just the new ones this there there's a ton and just just telling you we will be getting more and more online exclusives throughout the year some of our retire well products from the annual catalog here are the recent kits are moving to online exclusives. So you, you need to get used to shopping in the online store because otherwise you're going to miss something. Um, there's just so much and every month we're going to, well, every other month we're gonna be getting more. 
So get in the habit of shopping online, you know, learn how to, you know, if you if you haven't and you don't have a demonstrator, go to shopwithleanne.com and just browse and kind of poke around. You can look at so much and see everything that is not in the catalog. Um, okay, before I move on to projects, one last thing, I believe. Oh, no, there's two. <laughs> So I have a list and I posted this on my blog of product price increases. If you love using our cardstock, our matchy matchy, we call it matchy matchy within Stampin' Up, our cardstock is going up by $1.50 or, uh, yeah, $1.50 for assorted and whatever, so, and solid packs. So, yeah, I, you know, it's just the way the world is. You go to the store and you're like, what? What happened to that? It's never been that high. Everything is going up and Stampin' Up! can't uh, 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 absorb those prices. They have to pass it on to us, unfortunately. So yeah, if you are a collector of cardstock and you want some colors, get it now before May 1st when the price is going up and use the host code or my link there. Now I have just a few left of some of my card kits. I'm gonna go over them really quick. This is called, um, I think, All the Best. And it is um, based on a paper pumpkin kit that is no longer available. They ran out of the refills. You can get the full one, but this is my kit to go. I added on some layers and uh, a half a pack of this ribbon. And I just used greetings. So all you need, no cutting at all. This one is no cutting. You just stamp your greetings with whatever set you wanted. I use Charming Sentiments, which is retiring by the way. Love this set. And you just, I use green and blue ink and so easy. You also get this handy little um, gift card box that you can gift some of the cards into to, as a gift for somebody. So this kit I believe is $25 and it's seen in my shop. Um, let's see, flowerbugshop.com. So that is where you can get my kits. Hi, everybody. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. So happy that everybody brings or shares some of their time with me. This next one is my uh, Nature Sweetness. And there's quite a few fun folds here. So it's a lot of neutrals, a lot of um, soft. Well, then there's the glitz. But I did throw in a little bit of pink. <laughs> I, I thought this that some of this gold really would work well with some of the pink. So you get half a pack of the Nature Sweetness designer paper, six by 12, to make your cards with. So you, there is a little bit of cutting of the designer paper, but I give you clear instructions. And here's the last one. And then you get a share of this faux leather gold trim, which I used on a lot of these cards. And it's not thick and hard at all. So it will go through the mail easily. And a share of the neutral gems. So I think I have like four left of this kit and maybe three of the other one. So be sure if you want these cards, or this kit to go, everything is cut for you and punched. All you need to do is cut your designer paper and stamp and assemble. Everything is die cut and punched for you. So it's really fun to do without much thinking, prep, planning. Yeah, it's these kits. I have a lot of people who love them. Okay, I think now I'm moving on to my projects. I'm going to share a card that we're making. My last club, card club, is tonight. And I'm gonna share um, that project. Now, we're using the Lighter Than Air designer paper and that is going away, that is retiring, it's so pretty. And remember, I do have a free project sheet you can print out um, when I post this next week, Monday or Tuesday. That'll be on my blog, Monday or Tuesday. Okay, the stamp sets we're using, whoops are let's chat have you noticed this one this one is in the mini catalog the spring mini catalog and then happy little things now this one is in the online exclusive and it comes with these two little uh, banner dies as a bundle and i think it's only 30 some dollars now this is a clear uh, photopolymer stamp so you can see right through it to layer we're gonna, I'm gonna show you how we're gonna do that today. Okay, all right. So here is the card. 
What do you think? So I used Fresh Freesia and Balmy Blue. And there's that designer paper. And this uh, die cut is from the Perennial Postage dies. And they are carrying over, but they are splitting. They are not going to stay in as a bundle. So here's the inside of this one. Hey, and then wishing you comfort and strength. So a little bit of a pick me up. How are you doing? On here is a hey with celebrate you a little birthday. Okay. All right. So there are two ink pads. The I think we're going to start with that one and get out my perennial postage die and my stamps. Okay, so I am going to get out. I found when you have a newly clean or a clean stamp that's so solid, this has a lot of surface area. My first inking is not usually as good as it could be. Of course, that time it turned out. Let's see what happens here. So when you have this solid type ink pad or, or stamp, I see a little dark fuzz on there. You're, you're gonna wanna huff, and that means like cleaning your glasses huff. So I'm gonna huff, you can probably hear me. <sighs> your hot breath. Try not to get my head in the camera. Of course, I have it on the block a little crooked. Okay, there's that. Now, the headset. I think that's what this is called. This is an old fashioned phone. I'm gonna huff again. Oh, I am in the wrong piece here. This is gonna go on a scrap because, oh, whoops, I sh I'm gonna fussy cut it. <sighs> little huff and stamp. And you go, oh, I had a little hair. Let's try the other side. I see that right there, like an eyelash almost. <sighs> There's always two sides to your paper. Okay, so now I'm gonna set that aside and stamp the hay and when you have this thin stamp you do not need to press hard basically you're just letting it set and and tap on there so you want your cord attached right to the phone and i would like it a little higher but i don't think i can do that um, right now while i have my ink out let's do the inside now i have to find all my pieces. I'm going to do, uh, oh, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to change it up. Um, oh, but I can't because I need to show you. All right, we're going to do traditional and we'll do a celebrate. Okay, so the celebrate is actually wider than the inside of my card. This is my traditional four and three quarter tall by uh, three and a half wide. So I have to put a little angle on it and that's okay, because that's fun. Okay, there's the celebrate. And now bring the blue in. I'm not even showing you the inside of this, this uh, card. Okay, so now I have to get my head right over. Oh, yeah, I am in blue, but you know you can't tell. You actually cannot tell there's ink on there. And, <laughs> I have to take my glasses off so I can match this up. Let's see how good I did. Oh boy, that's pretty good. All right, so then because uh, some, this double stamping stresses some people out, <laughs> I did not want to layer the U. The U is not layered, It's but I'm gonna huff. It's just stamped straight. Okay, and we have these neat little, little swirlies. Um, I'm gonna open this one up. Yeah, it's in purple. So Celebration has confetti and streamers, right? Okay, and I love off the paper because that gives some, some fun to the card. All right, now I'm for stamps okay this one all right notice those this one I had hearts 
because and but this one has these little diamonds so this set has the heart and this set has the diamonds so i really like the diamonds so i'm going to add those in the purple fresh freesia ink just a little something and i think that's it for stamping so i can put this away yeah it's a fun card and um yeah <laughs> you would have to put your glasses on damn it yeah funny how our vision changes. I used to tease my boss. I'm like, just get new glasses. I'm like, well, now I get it. They, the glasses, when you have, I don't know, when you can see close up or, or can see, well, whatever. I can see close up better without my glasses, put it that way. So one thing I did change from these cards is I, am, I made my designer paper layer go to the edge because I thought, well, I'm already using almost a full sheet of a six by six. This isn't the best um, use, although you get two uh, for each card when you cut them at an angle like this. Um, but then you have this side strip of about one and three quarter. Okay, so when you're doing this um, extra piece, I cut this quarter inch strip extra long, and I'm just going to Press that on, flip it over. I like to do things longer than I need because uh, I can always trim it this way and not be like, oh shoot, I can see the edge. So that's what I do. Then this is gonna go on here. Such an easy card, but just soft colors. Not too busy. I really like it. And that uh, lighter than air paper has so many fun colors in it. Yeah, there are also, um, I think I have them in here. Oh, hopefully the rainbow gems are, and they're carrying over luckily. So one thing I do with the liquid glue, if you're frustrated with liquid glue, when you put your glue on, don't go so close to the edge. It really does not have to be at the edge. Um, you're, you're, it will not come away, it will not lift up, you, and it gives room for oozing. Okay, let's see how fast I can be with this uh, fussy cutting. So watch my scissor position because that's kind of the secret of fussy cutting uh, evenly, is moving the paper and not the scissors. My scissor arm, I actually am resting it on the table, so that is not changing, it's not hanging in the air, and I'm just manipulating the cardstock to um, match where I want. So this takes practice. If you haven't fussy cut and you do not like to fussy cut, I'm sorry, but the only way you're gonna get better is by doing it, just like many things in our life, right? So that only took me about, I don't know, 15 seconds. Okay, and I like mini dimensionals for this because I can, I don't have to tear them in half. So you get a lot more with mini dimensionals, but I know some people do not like them because they're so small. So then we just add that phone so it's connected to the string. Lastly, we will add some of these rainbow gems right here. So let's see, get my, take my pick tool out and I'm gonna do, oh, let's see, this one here, I'll do, oh, I like this blue better. This one here, kind of surround that a little bit. And then I'm gonna go with some yellow because the yellow is in the designer paper. Put that there. Okay, there is our card. Isn't that fun? So fun. And I didn't have to do a lot of fussy cutting with this phone, this Let's Chat stamp set. So there again, if you just join me, those are the two stamp sets that I used for this project. And this project sheet will be posted on my blog at flowerbook.net on Monday or Tuesday. So that's um, when this will be posted. You can print that out with the dimensions and the products listed on the back as well. Okay, done with that.
with that one. Now the next project is a technique. So I'm actually not going to finish the whole card, but I want to show you the technique because it's really fun. Some of my mess here. So let me know you're here if you're watching because um, I can't, I don't know who's all here if you don't say hi. And maybe, oh, first time watching, Caroline. Awesome, thank you. So this is a stamp set from the upcoming new annual catalog. And we received this free um, at on stage in Houston. Now it requires, well, it's really stuck on here. <laughs> I actually used it in the case, but I did get out my, my big block. So if you don't have a big block, you can actually leave it in your case or put it on the opposite, the back side. It's not as sturdy, of course, as a big block, but it does work. You just have to be careful that you do ink the center because, of course, this would give. But honestly, put something in here so it doesn't give if you don't have a big block. Okay, so we're going to do some techniques. Well, I'm going to show you one. I did one. Now this one here, this card, I clear embossed this image on white paper. So just a piece of white paper. Use my Versamark ink. Oh, well, first of all, I had to use my embossing buddy. You always want to use your embossing buddy first. Then you um, ink the, the rubber and then you press this on and I'll show you some of this in a minute. Then you sprinkle your powder, but this goes before you ink your buddy. And what it is, it's just a powder, a bag of powder. Um, it comes in the uh, toolkit, the uh, embossing toolkit right now. We used to have it separately, but we do not. But okay, so then you just sprinkle white or clear powder onto it and heat emboss. Then I use some blending brushes in three colors of ink and uh, rubbed over it. Then you take a tissue and you wipe off what stuck to the embossing. So this is called emboss resist in a way. So um, so it does it resists the embossing and sticks to the plain white paper. So when you have a shiny embossed, and if you haven't learned how to uh, heat emboss, it's 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 awesome, honestly. Yeah, um, it, it's one of my favorite techniques is heat embossing. Okay, so I'm not gonna show that technique today. I'm going to show this one. So um, this is called Joseph's Coat. And this is where you sponge color first and then heat emboss and then wipe it off. Then you add ink over it all. So totally different. I, I know I, I changed up the card a lot with the, the um, greetings and the die cuts I use, but um, you get the idea. All right, so I want to do this right. We're going to sponge first. And you know what I didn't show you? I didn't show you the inventory status report. Here, I'm picking it up beside my stuff. So some of these things should be back soon. We have, um, well, maybe it's just the adhesive back swirl dots that are going to be back soon. It seems like there was something else. But um, there are a few things that are deep into May. The, oh, I had that twice, the bow punch. The heartfelt hexagon punch got moved into May. It was supposed to be um, in a week, but um, it got moved. So if you want to know, this is some of it. There are some inks, there's some refills, there's some design, some designer paper that's low inventory. I don't think any designer paper is out, but um, okay, let's make some room here. We'll get going. When I do this, I usually do the darker color first. I don't know, um, I, the reason being is that I like to fill in with the lighter. Now, my, I don't pick up ink from the, this, um, the sponges when I use the lightest color last. It does not pick up the ink. So it absorbs pretty, pretty well into the paper. So uh, I like to go off the paper so I don't um, get that blob. That's why I use a um, scrap. So you can go as dark or as light as you want to. Do a little bit here. Okay, and that's done for that ink. I'm gonna close it so I don't get confused. Now this is one of our new inks called Summer Splash. 
Now, a little tip when you're using blending brushes, you know how we all, when we're inking up our words and our images, we go to the center? So when you're sponging, go to the edge. Use up some of that ink on the edge so you, you're not diluting the center more like, you tend to, like we tend to do. Oh, where to start? I'll start here. So I thought this one went really well with uh, Pretty Peacock. Or, yeah, Pretty Peacock. Got confused on the name here. So I'm gonna start on that and move over into the, so because this is a lighter ink, I can start on the peacock and get some of my center done. I'm actually gonna go, oops, I'm not doing a very good job of, and there we go, we got some blo blotches. Okay, a little bit more over here. And you know where to put your little blotches and spots, it doesn't really matter because you can see on the card, does it really show? Mm. Even though this is a really solid, solid image. Let me get the stamp set, that's what we're using, the leaf collection. Um, so it's quite solid and um, it, it's perfect for this technique. Well, I can see that I need to move this over and connect. I like to have um, odd shapes. Not doing a very good job here. <laughs> okay, let's be done with that color. The For me, the granny apple green that is next, I don't know why, but it flows so easily on here for some reason and smooth and I'm going to try and go off the paper a little bit, but it just brightens it all up. I think I want to try this technique with just greens. I think that would be beautiful with an array of greens. Thank you, glad you guys like it. I know it probably seems like really odd colors, but I am a blue-green kind of girl. That's, that's my jam. My favorite colors are these right here. Turquoise, uh, pretty peacock, all those. So with this lighter ink, I can actually go in and fill in some of the lighter areas if that bothers me and it doesn't that's why I do my lighter one last just to fill in any white or light areas and it doesn't overtake the dark if I did the dark last I think I would get too much dark okay so what you want to do now I'm actually going to just kind of wipe this off with a tissue because I had some issues with embossing um yeah, I probably did pick up a little bit the other the other yesterday when I was prepping this card. Okay, so now we're going to get our stuff ready. And the first step, always, 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 especially with such a solid uh, surface, you want to tap this powder bag or embossing buddy, as we call it, to get some powder and then I, I wipe it slightly and spread it around. I need it everywhere, but I don't want it loose. Um, loose is not good when you're embossing because some of that powder would move and prevent some of your embossing. Okay, now I'm going to ink this up and I always ink background stamps upside down. Always, always, always. You have so much more control when you do it this way and I stamp them this way as well. So learn this way back when we used to have a lot more background stamps. Okay, you can see this is old. I mean old. I bet this is 12, 13, 14 years old. <laughs> I just keep re-inking it. It looks terrible. So tap off any powder, rest that on there, then use another piece of paper. This my, my inventory status report I am using and rub that all over. You hold one hand, you can see powder on my nails. You hold one hand firm and then you move the other one and transfer it. Okay. All right, so then you peel this up, hold the edges if you're all the way to the edge like this. And I have, oh, I should have opened this first. This is my clear embossing powder that I put in a Chinese takeout container and then I hold it over, it works so good. Clear is something I use the most. So clear and white, I tend to, sometimes in the holidays I'll do some gold. And then just have a lot on there. This is probably two containers of embossing powder. 
Now hold this over if you don't want to get a mess or have paper underneath you and tap it. You want all that excess off. Now, I did not bring my embossing gun over here, but I wanted to get that on so it's ready for me to emboss. So I'm, I have one ready for this technique, but I'm going to, after the video is done, I will heat emboss that and share it um, on my page and whatnot. So, I'm bringing this back in, and here is the one I did yesterday. I just did the same thing. I um, sponged, used embossing buddy, and then inked with Versamark and added clear embossing. Okay, now what you do is, oh, I'll use this paint because it's already, already inked with black. So now, if you want to do this technique, which is called uh, Joseph's Coat, coat of many colors, right? You use water-based ink to cover. Now, I, I thought about using navy or something else, even pretty and peacock, but I thought, no, I like black. I really like black. So then you take the pad. This is called direct to paper, and you simply rub it all over, and this pad is linen so it's hard to rub if you were going to use one of our water base another color of water base um you would tap because these are foam you can't rub or you'll tear so you would be doing this with your water base uh, foam pad but in my case because this is linen i can actually rub it does not matter i just it's a little easier to rub so if your embossing did not leave a lot of little dots, which I have to tell you, mine did yesterday. It did, it left some dots. So I'm not gonna have as perfect of an embossing as that one was. You can see this right here. Yeah, that was, I wanted you to see what happens if you don't have, if you don't use your buddy well enough that I'm, uh, the reason I hold that is so I don't get my fingers all all inky because you can see I am wiping off quite a bit of ink that resisted my embossing but unfortunately part of my embossing stuck and you know what what I did wrong yesterday I didn't wipe off the ink at the stage before I heat I added my buddy I my ink was still damp and so um, all the the colors underneath the embossing was still damp and my buddy didn't prevent the powder from sticking. So that's why I tell you wipe off your your ink after you just do this before you do anything else and make sure it's dry or set it aside for a while. So yeah, you can see this is not um, as good as this one. It's close, I mean, it's, it's okay. And I don't know if I'll even use it honestly because um, I'll use the one that I just showed you because um, once I heat emboss this, I think this one's gonna be okay. So that is the uh, Joseph's Coat technique. And then again, like I said, if you want to just emboss clear on white without any ink underneath it, you do that first and then you sponge over it and wipe off your color. So two different techniques, both, uh, both the same colors, but made differently. So thank you, thank you, Julie, I'm glad you like them. Yeah, it is a fun technique and it's not fussy. I mean, yeah, you need a few supplies, but and Versamark is just so necessary to have, not just for heat embossing, but for uh, water uh, watermark. It says right on there, watermark stamp pad. You can use any stamp and, well, I can show you on the back of this one, I stamped that little, um, <laughs> What do you call that little thing right there at the bottom? Inversamark for a little water, or like I said, hallmark, and then added hello. So that's just Versamark ink. That is not any, it will it will just change whatever stamp, or whatever cardstock you're using, it'll just change the color. So it's awesome. Versamark is, is a, a fabulous tool to have in your stamping supplies uh, for backgrounds and whatnot. Okay, I think that is it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. And don't forget, if you need to order anything, there's my host code. Um, let me know if you need anything. My kits are here. My blog is here. So be sure to subscribe with me. There you go, Janet, Speech Bubble. That's it. Thank you. 
Um, be sure to subscribe with me on my YouTube channel and my, uh, my Facebook page as well so you don't miss anything. And also, look at the three little dots at the top of Larbug's Ink Spot and make sure you have clicked see all instead of highlights because if you're not getting notified when I'm live, you may have the, the highlights chosen. Facebook, Facebook does it for you. They don't give you a choice. They, do, they decide who you're going to see um, the most. And so you have to go in and change your notification settings. All right. Thank you so much. I appreciate you all and have a great week. And I hope you get time to craft, create, and send cards. All right. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Okay,